Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deep Roy Choudhury and I'm just a normal guy who talks about stuff that seems interesting to me. Now, today I'm going to talk about the fa today I'm going to talk about the future of car ownership. Car ownership. I I I don't know why I emphasize the word ownership. Why I, why did I say say it like that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I basically talk about stuff from an from a layman's perspective. Talk about, I'm just a normal guy who talks about um uh, stuff that seems interesting to me did i already say that i do not remember so yeah um basically i do not know how to drive a car and i do not i do not know whether i will even learn how to drive a car i mean or maybe i would le eventually learn it learn uh, how to drive a car i mean i do feel that you know if you know how to drive a car and if you have a car of your own it does make you self reliant as far as transportation is concerned as far as going from point a to point b is concerned and that gives you a certain amount of self reliance a certain amount of independence you would not have to be stay dependent on ride sharing apps uh, like ola and uber uh, that are you know ola uber and uh, you know lyft you know there's various kinds of ride sharing apps that are available all around the world so yeah i mean there are so many ride sharing apps i'm pretty sure that there are others you know I, something called hello taxi uh, you know there I, i was just you know i i i think if you just google ride sharing services you would know you know all the kinds of ride sharing services that are out there uber of course is the biggest one i think i think again i am not uh, an expert on this stuff you know uh, i mean i do not even know how to drive a car so yeah i mean yes um i i think uh, you know owning a car and and uh, knowing how to drive a car is uh, is um, is pretty good and it does um, uh, and it does make and it and, and it does make people self reliant but there's also the fact that you know nowadays nowadays we are seeing the we are seeing the rise of ride sharing services and uh, people are a lot of people are say, saying that you know what i do not need to go through the hassle of owning a car of of owning any vehicle for that matter any you know maybe a car maybe a motorcycle or maybe an electric cycle or maybe just a, a, a normal bicycle uh, so whatever it is you know i do not need to bother with that because you know i i you know transportation is available at my fingertips uh, you know just one uh just one uh, just a few clicks away on on any ride sharing service that 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 people use around the world so you know a lot of people are saying that you know what uh, a lot of people i mean by, by what by a lot of people i mean are the, those people who basically are 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 young and are and are very good at using smartphones and are basically have uh, constant access to to a, a pretty a decent internet connection these people are saying that you know what i do not need to bother with um, with owning a vehicle because i i can just book a cab i mean i do not need to i do not uh, want to i do not you know i do not want to learn how to drive a car it just seems like a big hassle but then there are people like me i mean of course i i do understand the comfort the 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 um the 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 ease with which uh, i i can you know get get from point a to point b with the help of a ride sharing service i i do understand the i uh, i do understand the the comfort of that but at the end of the day i mean what if you do not have uh, what, what if you 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 what if you lost your phone what if you do not have uh, have uh have access to in, uh, access to internet connection what if you, the network is down for some reason what if um, you know um for for some reason all the all the cab drivers have gone on a strike or or have uh, or you know what what if cab drivers are not available in your radius so you know the all, all kinds of things might happen i i mean, i i have faced this kind of situation quite a lot you know when i wanted to book a cab on one of these services and i wasn't able to find a cab because there weren't any cabs available uh, in within my, within within a certain radius of uh, of my location so it it does uh, you know i'm not saying ride sharing apps are, are bad i'm not, i'm not going to discourage people from going from using ride sharing apps but at the end of the day i think you know owning a car of your own does ha have its own benefits of course you need to maintain that car you need to make sure that you also need to learn how to drive the car but at the end of the day even though it might seem like a hassle uh, eventually uh, and of course you would have to also have to maintain the car you also have to take the car out for service 
um, you know change change the the engine fluids and and all the other stuff that that are, that is involved with maintaining a car so uh, or maintaining any vehicle you know some more maintaining a motorcycle maintaining any other kind of vehicle that you might have uh, so th there are there, uh, there are certain um there are certain costs um, involved uh, regarding you know regard, regarding owning a ve vehicle of your own but at the end of the day i think it would be practical for a lot of people or it would be pragmatic for a lot of people to just bear that cost if they can so so that they can have that ease that independence of transportation whenever it when the, whenever they need and they would not be they would not need to depend on an app for the sake of transportation to any place for that matter basically people can just um people can just uh, um uh, people would would be more, would be more self reliant i think again i think that people that self you know self reliance is uh, um is is a is a good thing at the end of the day and i yes I, of course the car ownership is going to go down I, I i am pretty sure that a lot of people would ditch the idea of owning a vehicle of your own but at the end of the day i think a lot of people still would have the need to own a, a vehicle of their own because that gives them a certain kind of freedom a certain kind of independence a certain kind of self reliance that is not available otherwise or that is no, no, that you do not have otherwise so uh, i will talk about this more in my in my next video until then uh, stay safe goodbye and god bless you oh before that you know um, if you like this video please consider hitting the like button uh, sharing uh, share my video with with um, with more and more people and uh, or please share my video with more and more people and please consider subscribing to my channel it does mean a lot to me and uh, yeah also click on the bell icon for notifications if you want to get notifications about uh, about whenever i i upload new videos uh, so stay safe goodbye and god bless you